Planning troop movements now? I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. If I'm guided by anything, it's you. Oh, excellent. The blind leading the blind. I don't think you're blind. Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. Haven't I? When we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. But I am. The Maker chose well. I appreciate that. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. Good book? Ah! I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields. The latest chapter. So you like to read? What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No! Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You! You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. 
I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchants Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. I take it you're a friend of Varix. Who isn't a friend of Varix? You have met him before, right? Why do you both look like cats that got into the cream? She's taken a huge risk coming here herself. Maybe for both of us. You're such a worrier. There's a giant hole in the sky. I think the Merchant's Guild has bigger things to think about. Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartran's Folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Tig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. Who could have given away the Tig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? I told her. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. You can get there from Orlay. It's a long way to the Free Marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire. Went to every corner of the continent. Maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Tig using the deep roads. But in practice... Well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. I've got a minute if you need something. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. What's so surprising about that? Well, you have met Cassandra, haven't you? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. You done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. 
The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the Night Captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, oh, completely worth it. I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've... noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. No, it's not your imagination. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people. Is that what you want? No. I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our, our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything.
They'll appoint a new divine soon. One will make you stand up. It's the grand ball in the Winter Palace, you stuff. I told you I was right not to send supplies to Haven. Look what happened there. By the Maker, it's the Inquisitor himself. Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, Your Worship? The roses have been exceptional this season. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For... a lady friend. Oh! No, simple wild flowers for you, then. I have just the thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Even before the sky fell open, this was a land of spirits and demons. Magic grows wild in the hills of Maine. Is there something you need? Surfacer they call the Inquisitor. Is that right? Wish I could sell you some books. Wish I could sell anyone some books. Sod it all. The demons are already attacking us out here. So what happened exactly? Surfacers happened. It took all my coin for bribes just to find out the damn Templars ambushed my wagon before it got here. Thought I was bringing supplies to the roads. So it's out there, but who knows where. Any books of poetry in your wagon? Sure. Mages love that stuff. Fat lot of good it does me now. Have a moment.
I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. It's very simple. I care for you. <sighs> you enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow. The wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. <laughs> as I recall, your list was very specific. And that is the poem you chose? What's wrong with it? Carmenum de Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? <sighs> they will say one of two things about me that I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover, that it was meant to be, or they will say I was led from the path of faith by the wiles of a madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe you are the herald of Andraste even if you do not. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I believe you. The sight of you warms the heart. I was hoping we could spend some time together. You need not even ask. Mm -hmm. 